So to improve the patient experience, we've really been taking a multifaceted approach to um, the entire process throughout your hip and knee replacement. And that really comes down to three different categories. And so if you look at uh, anesthesia around the time of surgery, there's been some great advancements in anesthesia. And one of those is spinal anesthetics with local blocks. That can reduce the overall amount of anesthetic that patients need and helping them recover quicker and having less effect on their heart and lungs throughout surgery. The second is the surgery itself. We've really had, we have some new techniques through anterior total hip replacements that try to help patients have a quicker recovery in their first six to 12 weeks. And then for total knees, more tendon sparing approaches with where we either go around the tendon or around the entire muscle itself um, during the knee replacement. And finally, it, it, uh, we've been focusing on the facilities and the people helping patients out throughout their entire experience. The surgery center across the street, its top priority has been infection control using ultraviolet sterilization lights, using new advancements in airflow control, and really making it the cleanest, safest place possible to have surgery. The staff and the people that work at the surgery center, their number one priority is to have patients have the best, safest, and surgery that they can possibly have the second that they enter the door till the second that they leave. And then it's also the people that surround the facility who are helping patients through their preoperative optimization at the medicine uh, clinic and making sure that they're safe enough to go through surgery. And then the folks who help them in recovery afterwards to make sure that they're feeling good enough to go home the same day.